Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I want to teach you how to use the debugger, which is an extremely powerful tool inside PyCharm. Okay, so we have a simple code here, which we are importing some packages here, which are already installed in Python. And then we are importing the dataset, which is the Iris dataset, it's just a simple dataset. And then we cre I created this function called linear regression in which I'm going to calculate the coefficient of the linear regression. And then if this plot is equal to true, I'm also going to plot the data. The reason why I'm showing you this code is because this linear regression first fit the regressor, so the linear regression, and then if plot is equal to true, it's going to plot the data. So this function here is called inside nested inside this function here. Okay. So it's quite difficult to debug this function if there is something that is not uh, okay or if there, is, if there is an error, as there is in this case. Uh, I just on purpose made a mistake. So just to show you this function here, this plot data, get the x value and the y value and the regressor that we just calculated here. It does uh, plot the data using scatter plot and uh, it also plot uh, the line plot, so a line with our regressor. Okay? Let me show you the code. So to run this function, you can either press here on the play, a green symbol. You can press here at the top as long as you have selected the right configuration. Or alternatively, you can press Ctrl Shift F10. Okay? So now I'm running the function. I just want to show you what the function is doing. So it's, it's evaluating the linear regression. And then it's plotting the scatter plot. And the scatter plot is fine. I'm plotting the petal length, the petal width versus the petal length. And I'm plotting the linear regression. But as you can see, there is something wrong because we would expect that linear regression would be a line passing through the points. Okay? So let's go and leverage the, the debugger and see what's wrong in our code and see how we can fix this error. Okay? So let's close this chart. How we start the debugger first? In order to start the debugger, let me close this tab here. We can either press here again, left click, debugger, or we can go here at the top and we can press click here, debugger. Alternatively, you can also use Shift F9. So let's click here and let's run a debugger. If I run a debugger like this, nothing has happened. Okay, so actually I got the same result as if I run the function normally with the run. And that's the reason the reason why this happened is because I didn't put any breakpoint inside my code. So I didn't tell the Python to stop anywhere inside my code. So Python executed the function and generated the output. But this is not very helpful because I cannot really get an insight on which are the variables and how they get changed inside my code and what is wrong with my function. So let's run again the debugger, but in this case, since we can see there is something wrong with the plotting of the data, let's going to put a couple of breakpoints, okay? So we're going to put a breakpoint here where we fit the regressor, and we're going to put a breakpoint here after we calculate the new x and the new y to generate that line, okay? Let's run the debugger again using Shift F9, on Windows, and let's see what happens right now. In this case, we the debugger doesn't run the full code, but it actually breaks and it stops exactly here, where we have told him to stop. It also shows us a lot of interesting things. Okay, so let's look at the debugger window for a second, and I just want to show you how to use it. So, the debugger window basically there are two main tab: the debugger and the console. Okay, the console is a very is a, is a Python console. You can do whatever you want. Like you can type two plus two, and you can evaluate this expression. Okay, so inside the console, you can do whatever you want. You can even import again the data. So here we have the data frame Iris. We want to see the data. We can just press. We can just copy and paste, and enter, and data frame Iris. We press enter, we can actually see all the data. Okay, so this is just a Python console, you can use it <coughs> for whatever you want. Okay, so you can evaluate expression, do the import, and run again the function as you would be doing normally in Python. Let's go back to the debugger here. So we have seen the console, let's go back to the debugger. 
So the debugger here on the side, it has different um, part. So one is the module, okay? This is the module, the main file that we are actually opening. And this contains, uh, in fact, the data frame iris, uh, the one that I just opened before in the console. So you didn't have to go into the console and open it again. You could have just gone here in the debugger, click here on module, and open the data frame. And if you right click on this one, uh, and you click on view as data frame, you can actually see the full data frame here on the screen, okay? So let me just uh, make this one smaller, and you can actually see all the data frame and you can scroll through the data, okay? So you can actually see the data. Then uh, we can go inside the function, okay? So here we are inside the main module, so here at the top, as you can see, you can see the data frame iris, but then you can click inside here, inside the linear regression, here where we are, Okay, inside here, as you can see here, linear regression, and we can see the variables that are inside this function. As you can see, we have the X and the Y, which we pass inside the function here, using data frame, iris, petal length, so we pass that column, and we have the Y here. <coughs> so we have the X and the Y, and then we have the regressor, okay? If you click here on the regressor, you can have some information about the default configuration, for instance, fit intercept and so forth. Okay. Another very nice, nice thing is that by default, PyCharm is actually showing us the variable here. So you don't have to even use the print statement. Of course, the print statement is not needed because you can see the, the variables here on the screen and you can access the X and the Y here in the, in the variables tab or just simply go into the console and then press X, enter, and you're actually going to see, you're going to be able to see and to access all the variables that you have and uh, inside the debugger at the moment, okay? So no need to use print statement, and as we, we saw X, we can actually see even Y. We can see the data type, the length, and we can see that is actually a pandas series. Let's go back into our uh, now, now that we have seen the debugger, okay, tab, and here the console, let's go back to where we were, here to the breaking point. So for, let's say that I've scrolled a bit around, how to go back where I was before. If I press on this uh, button here, which is also Alt F10, it shows me the exec execution point and it takes me back to where I was. So I got confused, I was talking, it takes me back to where I was, okay? Now let's go there and execute this line, okay? Let's go back into the debugger. As you can see here, the regressor was not fit yet, so we just have to define it right now. But let's execute this line. How do, do we execute this line? Well, we have a different way of executing this line. Let's go with the simplest one, step over, which you can press F8, okay? So if you press F8, you're only going to execute line by line. Okay, now that we have executed this line, as you can see, the regressor has changed, okay, because we have fit the regressor, okay, with our data, and now we can actually see the coefficient, and we can see the intercept. We can see the coefficient, and we can see the intercept. We can see, it if you go back, if you think about the chart that we saw before, our line had a negative slope, but we can see that the coefficient is actually positive, so definitely I made a mistake. And let's find out where the mistake is. Okay, so now we can evaluate line by line. Again, we can do step over. It's going to evaluate this line. And again, if you want to check what is plot, plot is here, plot is equal to true. Okay, and then it's going to execute this line inside here. Okay, so let me show you one important thing. So if I execute this line, it's going to go to this line then you would be expecting that if I press again this button, step over, is going to go here because I'm calling this function. That's in fact is not the case because if you press step over, it's going to step over function. So it's going to step over inside this uh, plot data function with the only exception that we put a breakpoint inside plot data. So if I press step over, it's going to jump to this breakpoint because you would like to skip this function, but instead, uh, we put a breakpoint, so it's going to jump here. And let's see what happens, and I will show you later how to show another behavior, which is step into, okay? So if I press step over, as you can see, my cursor jump here, so to here, and now we can see that what I've done wrong, okay? 
So we can evaluate, here I created the minimum and the maximum of the x value, here I created a, a new array, which starts from the minimum to the maximum with the interval of 1, and here I would like to calculate the y, okay? The problem is, I realized that now I have a problem, because I, have my regret, I did something wrong. Instead of uh, uh, multiply, multiplying uh, the coefficient to the x value, I multiply the intercept. And that's what the issue, okay? So now I identify the, the, the problem. However, even if I change the, uh, the code, so let me just uh, duplicate this line. I can duplicate this line by pressing Ctrl D, okay? Let me just comment this line. Let me change the code. Okay, so now we have fixed the mistake. Now it's too late. It's too late because this um, expression was already evaluated. How can we fix that? Well, we can fix that by just copying the expression if you want to. Either you run again the debugger, and we can run again the debugger, I will show you later, it's fine. Or you can press here, evaluate expression, Alt F8, and just bring it up. Since it was copied, you don't even have to do copy and paste. And we do evaluate. This is going to update our y new value. Okay? So let's close this one and let's run the code. So now that we are into this function, the debugger, if I press this step over, is not going to jump outside the function, but is going to run all these uh, uh, commands one by one. So we are going to uh, this one, this one. And now that you have seen how it works, I just want to show you another way of stepping. I'm going to put the cursor here, okay? And I can use run to cursor. It's going to run through all these expression and it's going to jump here to line 34. Let's do that, run to cursor. Now here we are. So in plot type layout, and then let's do step over again. It's going to do a plot data and we get our plot. So now we have fixed our issue, okay? So now we were able to fix our issue because we identified where the error was and where the issue was. So let me show you a couple of more things that I want to show you about the debugger, which I think are extremely useful. So what happened? What, do you, what, what can you do if you want to just rerun the debugger? If you are, the, the debugger is running, you can just press here, rerun the debugger, and we are going to go back to the first breakpoint. Okay? Here we are, same point as we were before. So now we have understood that here everything was fine and we can actually remove this breakpoint. And let's go back here, which I wanted to show you how you could have just jumped to this line instead of jumping to this other breakpoint. So let's go to step over, step over. So we are inside here. In order to just go inside here, we want to step into this function. How can we do that? Well, this is the button. Step into F7. So if I press F7, or this button here, I'm going to jump to this line, okay? I don't want to do step into right now, because if I do step into, or let me do it, it's going to run inside here this NumPy function, which I was calling to calculate the maximum or the minimum. So if you get stuck inside a function which is not yours, just press on step out here. Shift F8, so you don't have to evaluate all these things, shift F8, and you jump back. I didn't suggest you to press step over or resume program because you would have jumped directly to this breakpoint here. But let's say that you wanted to see what was going on here. Okay, so that's why you had to use a step out. Now that we are inside here, we go step over and then step over and then step over again. And we can see what are the value of x new. Here it is, y new. Here it is, and again, if you want to check, you can also check down here in the variable tab here or in the console. Okay, so why if you type y new, you get the same value. It's very handy that is on the screen, so you don't have a, even have to go into the console, but you can also use that. As we evaluate a new expression here, you can also change the title later on. So let's say that now I've set the title to line chart. Okay, I press step over, so now the title is line chart. Let's put a watch here, a new watch, and I want to see 
what's the value of the title. If I press title here, it's going to show me that is line chart. But I want to change that value, so how can we do that? Again, we can go here in evaluate expression. We can type title equal to my chart, and then we press evaluate. It's going to change that value, and as you can see here, it has changed, and it has changed here. So if now I go ahead, this is going to generate a new figure. Here it is, but the chart now is called my chart instead of uh, a line chart. Okay. So these are the most important thing that you that you want to know about the debugger. Another final thing that I want to show you is uh, uh, this button here on the right side, on the left side. So again, we saw that uh, if you if you want to stop the debugger, just press here, stop debugger, or Control F2. So I can press Control F2. This is going to stop the debugger. All the variable go away. So if instead I want to start it again, now that is open, I can run the debugger here. So it runs the debugger. And what is uh, this command here, resume program? Resume program is going to resume the program as normal and is going to run to the next breakpoint. Okay? So if there is no breakpoint, uh, like in this case, because the last breakpoint, uh, the first breakpoint and the only one in our code right now is this one. So this is our only breakpoint. So if I press on this one, resume program, it's going to go ahead, execute all the code, plot the chart, but then that's it. Okay? You can also add, after you start the debugger, you can still add breaking points. So you can, I can add one here. If I resume the program, now it's not going to execute the whole program, but it's going to jump till here because I put another breakpoint. Okay? It's going to, can you see here, plot show, it stop here. If you want to remove a breakpoint, just click here on the breakpoint itself, and this is going to go away. Okay? So I hope you find this video interesting, and uh, if you find it interesting, please uh, consider liking, liking the video or subscribing to my channel. And uh, if you have any question, please uh, leave uh, a question down below in the video. In the video. Thank you very much for listening.